going on a vacation ever truly be complete without enjoying some cold confections from a popular dessert shop? Hey, Birdie. Hey, Birdie. In my honest opinion, I don't think so. Hey, Sarah and I are here at the island in Pigeon Forge and going through a little bit of a... We're going to come in like a sweet tooth attack. Or... <laughs> yeah, kind of. When spending ample time at the island in Pigeon Forge and you have an instant craving for a sweet sensation, there's one clear option that sticks out like a sore thumb. And that's it right there. And the name is fitting because it's placed right in the center of the island, directly in front of the colorful water fountain displays that erupt perfectly timed to music. And right behind the big spinning carnival wheel, easily seen from most vantage points, when stranded on this isle of activities, food, shopping, and fun things to do. I thought we'd take you guys along with us, so come on inside with us as we visit the Island Creamery, check out their ice cream selections, see what they're all about, and just check it out. With never a single hesitation from Sarah, we went inside to learn more about their ice cream and gourmet sweet treats. Oh, we forgot our camera. The place was pretty packed, I mean a long line. My first impression was, this surely means we're in store for something good. Like we have a pretty extensive menu here, lots of stuff to pick from. I figured the wait would give me enough time to try to take in their enormous menu and weigh our options. I mean this thing covered two walls, it was big. Placed directly in the center of the ice cream parlor was some Island Creamery merchandise. I went in for a closer look. Find your name on a name tag with a Great Smoky Mountain souvenir magnet. Ha, huh. always gotta find my name. Gotta find my name. It's just something I have to do on vacations. A mini mission, so to speak, I force myself to partake in at any place that bears souvenirs with personal name tags. My name is almost always in the lineup. It's gotta be here somewhere. I guess I didn't get to make the cut on that one. I couldn't find, I found your name tag, I couldn't find my name tag. Uh -huh. I mean, Scott's a fairly common one syllable name. Oh well, at least Sarah's souvenir magnet stood proud. Well, there's Sarah. Hey, where's Scott? With two long walls of menu selections, I'll do my best to give you a brief idea of what you can find here. But right out of the gate, one in particular had me curious. And there's that peculiar spaghetti ice cream, which it says is vanilla soft serve ice cream with strawberry topping and white chocolate chips. Definitely wondering what that's all about. Now after a long day gallivanting around the island, it's good to know they have some coffee options to assist in giving a weary traveler a much needed second wind. They got everything from coffee to cappuccinos, lattes, macchiatos, americanas, espresso shots. From a distance, I spotted some smoothies and other specialty drinks like boba teas with popping pearls. More on this strange sounding beverage in a minute. And as we approach closer to the casement here, we're getting a better view of what they've got. It looks like they've got three packaged cookie dough scoops right there in that case with some type of mason jar with chocolate all over the rim. Which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I would imagine they fill those mason jars full of some sort of ice cream or flavored goodie. Island Creamery's collection of desserts included some of the more classic, well-known frozen treat options, complete with their own sweet spin on things. And here's a little closer look at the uh, sundaes they offer, the Oreo sundae, the Reese's sundae, the Brownie Mountain, and the, look at this, the Cookie Monster sundae. That sounds pretty good, actually. I'm feeling like a little bit of the Cookie Monster tonight in Pigeon Forge. And then you've got the Artisan Shakes. Pick your jar, pick your flavor, pick your topping, and then all they request of you is to enjoy. Two and three scoop options, waffle cones, sundaes, milkshakes, floats, and other confectionery favorites. It became increasingly clear 
the hard part was going to be determining what to go with. Here on the wall, it says, discover your flavor. When you find yourself at an ice cream shop, it's important to know there's plenty of flavors to pick from. Of course, you always want to know they included the expected. But I believe Island Creamery had a few unexpected choices as well. And I don't think they've missed out on uh, any type of flavor. I think you can find just about anything here. I'm kind of liking the sound of the Superman ice cream. And they've just got a ton of ice cream flavors here. Um. At this point in the night, I will say the coffee would probably serve us mighty well. I mean, there is that famous Superman ice cream. Yes, I'll bet you that is Superman ice cream back there. Now, I mentioned boba tea earlier, but here's a closer look. Well, what is a bursting boba? It's a type of boba used in bubble tea, unlike traditional boba, which is tapioca-based popping boba is made using little juice balls. And these must be the popping pearls mentioned in Bobo tea. You can see them right there. Little circular popping pearls. And I think this contraption right here is where they make the rolled ice cream selections. If ice cream making is an art form, this is it. Check this out. This is actually a clip from a place called Icy Juicy, an ice cream shop from the Carolinas that makes rolled ice cream as well. Although I didn't get to see an island creamery attendant officially make one on this visit, this should give you a gist of how the art of rolled ice cream is handled. Pretty cool stuff. Definitely some advanced confectionery design work going on here at the Island Creamery, no doubt about it. Keeping myself distracted with the Ambrosia collections, carefully resting in their cold displays surrounding us, we were finally up and it was our turn to make a decision. What are you gonna get? You can get the worms and dirt. Ma'am, I'm gonna get the uh, hot fudge brownie, the specialty hot fudge brownie. And she's over there preparing my hot fudge specialty brownie. I'm just gonna do like one scoop of vanilla, and can I have like rainbow sprinkles and chocolate sauce on it? Huge lineup of sprinkles, gummy bears, Oreo cookies I see over there. And yeah, that must be for the uh, worms in the dirt right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. After fixating on the assortment of available toppings, and ensuring the confectioner understood I was aiming to bring the image of the specialty hot fudge brownie and ice cream to life. Yeah, that's the hot fudge brownie. The one that's on that picture right there, sir. Can you make it look like that right there? You can make it look like that? <laughs> I want it to look exactly like that right there. I was quickly impressed at the accuracy of this talented ice cream barista who built our enormous bowls of delightful goodness to a tea. Boy, did he nail it good. Hold on, hold on, let's see. That looks exactly like that. You nailed it, man. Very good job, very good job. Perfect, perfect. And let's take this big guy over here and pay for it. It's exactly like the photo. They did not let us down at Island Creamery. And then Sarah's comes in with her scoop I'm not sure if they have a picture of this, but they need to have one because that thing looks good. She's got the sprinkles on there and chocolate drizzled all over it. And that's the mastermind behind it right there. He hooked us up. He knows what he's doing. Come see him at the Island Creamery. We are ready to devour this and solve our sweet tooth. Thank you, sir. Good times inside the Island Creamery. There was only one thing left to do. All right, so we've got our as you can see, <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to film and carry this big sucker. We've got our fudge brownie. Sarah's got her scoop of ice cream, and we're gonna enjoy this decadent mound of ice cream deliciousness at the island in Pigeon Forge. Just made it 
back from an island creamery. And look at these guys. So we're gonna take a bite and let you know what we think here. But I already know what I think. I don't even need to take a bite and take it out. That tastes really good. good. Yeah, I can actually <laughs> smell the chocolate. Okay. Almost ate the cherry stem. I got the vanilla bean ice cream. It's delicious. Yes, yeah, very good. Reeves. Reeves and chocolate. Oh, Is that like a just a chunk, or do I eat the whole thing? Our evening at the island was literally sweet, and another memory, another evening in Pigeon Forge was in the books. One bite. The trail is going in motion. No more boarding. No more boarding. Driver, we are clear. This one will easily store within the time capsules of our mind. Always ready to be relived at the click of a play button.